You've created your sources, you've inserted your citations, it's time to create your bibliography. And when you've done that, it's a breeze. You don't have to do much work. So this particular document has a number of sources. In fact, if I go to references, uh, insert citation, I'm going to see all of the sources. I have uh, six, I believe. And so I would like a nice, concise, fleshed out listing of all these sources. That usually goes at the end. If you wanted it at the beginning, you could put it really anywhere you like. But uh, to actually insert it, you go to References, Bibliography. Now, there's three bibliography choices. First one, uh, well, let's just say the only difference between the three of these is the first word. The first one, you would get bibliography. The second one, references. The third one, works cited. Otherwise, the bibliography is going to look exactly the same. So I'm a traditionalist. I'm going to choose bibliography, but you can choose whatever you like. Sure enough, we get our six sources. Now, what happens if updates occur? Well, I am going to just modify one of these sources. Um, I, have, I have this unknown source, and I've just learned who the name is, and so let's flesh that out. Well, so to modify sources, you go to Manage Sources. You select the source you want to modify, this unknown website. And if I choose Edit, I get back to the original information, and if I put in an author and okay it <clears throat> and close it, what you're going to see is, hmm, it didn't update automatically. Well, and let's go through our, our document. Interestingly enough, the citations updated, but the bibliography didn't. Here is uh, the Kane that's the one that was originally unknown. All right, well, I need to update my bibliography. That's as easy as a right-click update field, or if you simply left-click, you're going to see an option for updating at the top. And if you're a keyboard shortcut, F9 would do it. You get your choice of how you do it. It doesn't really matter. And in this case, when I choose one of those, I get the latest and greatest of this. Now, there is an interesting option that is possible with a bibliography. What if I no longer want it connected to my sources? Well, what if people are making tweaks to it and it's like, no, this bibliography is fine the way it is. Fine, update the source information, but don't change the bibliography. Well, at this point, it's possible that we would be out of sync with this. But there is an option that can help. If I click on this little first option in, at the top of my bibliography, I'm going to see a convert bibliography to static text. Now, interestingly enough, it doesn't look so different. But when I click around, it doesn't have gray shading anymore. That's my indication that it's actually no longer connected. Well, let's make a change. And so I'm going to go back to Manage Sources. I'm going to change how my name is spelled in this first source. And I'm going to say, uh, I prefer Andy. And when I OK it, that's been changed in the source list. But if I look here, it hasn't been changed. Well, what if I? Update. Well, I'm trying to update it. Nothing's happening because it's static text. And so that's if you want to disconnect it. You don't always do that, but that's an option. FYI, once you close this file, there, there's no way to undo that. But you could just delete the bibliography and reinsert it. It would get reinserted as a connected bibliography. Uh, that is linked to that source list. Now, there is an exercise available. I encourage you to use it 
work through all the tasks that I was doing, really stamp it in the learning on your own.